assalamu alaikum bismillahir rahmanir rahim class uh, we are now on the 11th lecture and course is your uh, statistical inference because the lecture was related uh, mostly to the proofs and the uh, uh, theorems and uh, statements so that's why i have chosen the can scanner file uh, to represent the lecture and the concept behind it so 11th lecture is uh, relating to the least square estimators and in the previous 10th lecture we have seen the some of the properties of the least square estimator that the least square estimator should be unbiased uh, or uh, the properties relating to the epsilon or the random variable that uh, it should be have constant variances independent uh, and the covariance is zero and it should be independent and uh, its uh, expectation mean should be zero that it is unbiased also so rest of the properties today we will uh, go through the uh, remaining property is the normality assumption and which is the most important that uh, all our results so far have assumed nothing concerning the distribution of the errors epsilon except the condition second that uh, it poses the co constant variances and third that the covariance matrix is zero concerning their first and second order moments we made no assumption about the forms of the distribution of the errors we made unbiased estimators of the parameters and of the sampling variances and covariances of these estimators without distributional uh, assumptions however if we wish to test a hypothesis concerning the parameter the distributional assumptions are necessary if we postulate that the epsilons are normally distributed the fact that they are uncorrelated implies their independency the identity y prime y is equal to the uh, y is equal to the y minus x theta hat prime into y minus x theta hat plus x theta <coughs> hat prime into x theta and is easily verified by substituting theta is equal to x prime x inverse into x prime y so second term on the right hand side will be uh, the this result so it implies that if theta is equal to zero, then theta hat x prime uh, x theta hat is equal to epsilon prime x into x prime x inverse x prime epsilon. So making after substitutions and uh, making the calculations, if theta is equal to zero, we have epsilon prime epsilon is equal to the expression that is the 29th expression. So the matrices in square brackets on right hand side of 29 are symmetric and uh, in, in the, uh, important so that their ranks are equal to their tracks uh, n minus k and k respectively. By Cochrane's theorem, the two quadratic forms on right hand side of the above equations are independently distributed as sigma square and chi square with n minus k and k degree of freedom respectively if theta is equal to zero not whatever the value of theta we find from 25 using the expected of epsilon is equal to zero so uh, expected of epsilon is equal to x uh, theta prime into x theta which is equal to epsilon prime plus theta prime x prime into x into x prime x inverse into x prime into x theta plus epsilon so substituting uh, epsilon uh, expected of x plan, uh, epsilon is equal to zero and after simplifying we can get k sigma square plus x theta plus x uh, theta which exceeds k sigma squares unless x theta is equal to zero which requires theta is equal to zero unless x takes special values thus it is reasonable to use the ratio x theta prime into x theta over k s square where expected of s square is equal to sigma square to test the hypothesis theta is equal to zero 
more general linear model as uh, when uh, if the linear model y is equal to x theta plus epsilon replace the sample dispersion uh, matrix by a non-singular dispersion matrix sigma square v which allows uh, correlation and uh, unequal variances among the epsilon i we shall show by replacing y by t prime y where t uh, uh, t prime is equal to v inverse that the least care and minimum variance and biased estimator of c theta is uh, uh, the c into x prime v inverse into x whole inverse and x prime v inverse y and v of c theta will be equal to sigma square c x prime v inverse x whole inverse into c prime. Suppose we pre-multiply the model by uh, n by n non-singular transformation matrix i and obtain the t prime y, then each element in the vector t prime y is the sum linear combination of the elements in y. The covariance uh, matrix for the uh, error in 3.1 is uh, variance of t prime epsilon, uh, which is equal to the sigma square t prime t hence uh, by assuming that t into t prime is equal to v inverse we can take inverse of both sides and then pre multiplying by t prime and post multiplying by t on both sides we can get t prime v into t is equal to i so uh, more simply and more uh, we can say that uh, the variance of uh, theta is equal to variance of c theta is equal to sigma square c into x prime v inverse x whole inverse c prime and the estimator theta is equal to c theta is defined as the generalized least scale estimator or the Aikman estimator. In particular, v is a diagonal but not equal to i so that the epsilon are uncorrelated but with unequal variances. So the expression provides the required set of estimators in order to use the expressions uh, given above, we must know V. In practical cases, this is uh, usually unknown and the estimator estimation problem then becomes much more difficult. So the other topic uh, under discussion will be order of least care estimation of location and scale parameters, best linear and biased estimators blue. A particular situation in which the above uh, expressions are of value uh, is in the estimation of location and scale parameters from the order statistic. The results are due to Lauren and Downton. In 1953, they have given the idea. We denote the order statistic by y1, y2 up to yn. And we write mu and sigma for the location and scale parameters to be estimated, which are not necessarily the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution. And ZR is equal to YR minus mu over sigma, where R varying from 1 till n. And expected of Z is equal to alpha, and the variance of Z is equal to V, where Z is the n by 1 vector of the ZR. Since Z has been standardized by the expression, and alpha and V are independent of mu and sigma. So, similarly, many other uh, expressions and their simplification gave us different results uh, and uh, different uh, uh, statements or formulas that we can apply to find out the better result. So the symmetrical distribution concept is that if the parent distribution is symmetrical, the situation uh, simplifies, then it is natural to take mu to be the center of the distribution and sigma a symmetrical year of dispersion. This time, rise random variable ZR is equal to YR minus mu over sigma, then has a symmetrical distribution, and the distribution of ZR is the same as that of minus ZR. Now, the order observation uh, satisfied that Z1 is less than equal to Z2 is less than equal to, and so on up to ZN, and minus Zn is less than or equal to minus Zn minus 1 is less than or equal to so on up till Z minus Z1. It is clear that the distribution of Zr is the same as that of minus Zr and the joint distribution of Z1 up to Zn coincides with the joint distribution of minus Zn up till minus Z1. This may be formally dis expressed as the distribution of Zr is equal to distribution of Jacobian of Zr. 
where j is the permutation matrix, j is equal to zero uh, up till one, and uh, the last uh, will be uh, one up till zero. So uh, we will uh, inshallah go through these results and these theorems and uh, results related to them we will use in some examples as usually we are going, we are repeating one continuous distribution and one discrete distribution to verify and to go through our results and expression. Next topic is gain in efficiency over the usual least care uh, method estimator since v and v inverse are positive definite we can write v is equal to t into t prime and v inverse is equal to t inverse prime into t inverse so that for any arbitrary vector v prime v b is equal to v prime t into t prime into b and that will be equal to sum of hi square where hi is the ith row element of the vector t prime b and similarly for our vector c we can uh, take it as c prime b where c is equal to sum of uh, ki square ki being the element of t where c now by cauchy inequality we can get uh, by making different substitutions and by simplifying those that uh, the our delta into minus and delta over sigma square variance of mu head is greater than or equal to zero for variance of mu is less than or equal to sigma square over n is equal to variance of x. So it is obvious since x bar is a linear estimator and therefore can't uh, have variance less than the minimum variance estimator mu head. So the expression becomes a strict equality uh, when the Cauchy inequality becomes an equality. When hi is equal to lambda ki for some constant lambda or t prime b is equal to lambda into t inverse into c. So we will go through these uh, results and uh, we will see also an example that the minimum variance and bias estimator of the mid range or the maybe mean mu and the range uh, sigma of the rectangle distribution will be is equal to one over sigma mu minus one over two sigma is less than equal to x is less than equal to mu plus one over two sigma also we there is an interval estimate also so we will go through these results and these exercises and uh, examples uh, there is uh, another new topic we will go to start in our this 11th lecture and this topic is relating with the based on these all all the examples that we will go through and practice in the class inshallah so the i'm just explaining the theoretical point of view and the concepts behind the uh, views so the next topic uh, inshallah we will go through is uh, after the method of least care is the base estimation. Base estimation in the previous treatment of point estimation, we have assumed that our random sample came from some definite uh, PDF or PF f of x theta where the function f dot uh, dot was assumed. We have also assumed that theta was some fixed though unknown to us point in some real world situation which the density f of x theta represents there is often additional information about theta. So for example, the experiment may have uh, evidence that theta itself acts as a random variable for which uh, he may be able to postulate a realistic uh, probability density function. The equation is how can this additional information about theta be used in our estimation problem. So examine this problem, we will assume in addition to the assumption that our random sample came from a density f of x theta, thus the unknown parameter theta is the value of some random variable, say theta. And uh, next topic will be posterior distribution whenever we want to indicate that the parameter theta is the value of a Random variable theta, we shall write density of x as f of x given theta in standard f of x theta. We should note that the f of x given theta is the conditional density. It is the density of x given theta is equal to theta. The density f of x given theta 
is also written as uh, f of x given theta is equal to theta x given theta. So the proof will be relating to this uh, prior distribution and uh, the prior uh, random sample or uh, uh, what will be the uh, distribution of posterior distribution and that's all. Uh, we will define it properly and its proper definition is that the density g of theta is called the prior distribution of theta, the conditional density of theta given x1 up till uh, is equal to x1, x2 uh, up to xn denoted by f of theta given x1 is equal to x1 up to xn for theta uh, varying from x1 up to xn is equal to f of x f of theta given x1 up to xn is called the posterior distribution of theta by the definition of the conditional density we have f of theta x1 up to xn is equal to f of x1 up to xn given theta into g of theta over f of x1 up to xn and for random sampling we will uh, use the generalized form of this uh, posterior distribution so we will uh, if we will define properly the uh, posterior base estimator its definition will be let x1 up to xn be a random sample from a density f of x given theta where theta is the value of the random variable theta with known density g of theta the posterior base estimator of uh, tau of theta with respect to the prior g of theta is defined as uh, estimated of tau of theta given x1 up to xn and so on. And so we will go through these uh, theorems, their results, and uh, also we'll touch the, uh, uh, utilize, uh, see the application of these concepts with uh, solving some examples from a discrete distribution and a continuous distribution. So from the discrete distribution, we have the Bernoulli density and from the continuous distribution we will also go through some uh, uh, distribution maybe uh, independent uh, normal distribution or the uniform distribution and so on the other topic of the discussion will be base estimator the base estimator of tau of theta base estimator of tau of theta and uh, the other discussion will be about the random sample from the density f of x theta and let g of theta be the density of theta for the let uh, l of t of theta be the loss function of the estimating tau of theta. The base estimator of tau of theta is that estimated t star x1 up to x1 n uh, which minimizes uh, integral of uh, sample space l into t of x1 up to xn theta and f of uh, theta given x1 up to xn b of theta is a function of t of x1 up to xn. So uh, we will see their proof and the uh, results or the, some theorems relating to this and uh, our uh, topic base uh, estimators or base methods uh, we will also uh, uh, go through them with the help of some examples as uh, uh, representing uh, on the screen that x1 up to xn be a random sample from the normal distribution with the uh, mean theta and variance one. Find the base estimator of theta with a squared error loss function. Assume that theta has a n into mu one. Uh, so we will find their solutions and go through in the class, inshallah. So I am hope and I am sure that this slide, uh, this video little bit will create some idea about the lecture in your mind and also uh, uh, give you some concepts relating to the topic of the lecture number 11 that will held on the uh, Sunday, it may be 30th of January. Till then, thank you class, Khuda Hafiz, and uh, may God bless you. Allah Hafiz.